For these four days, notable women in the field of theoretical computer science have been invited to give technical talks to graduate and undergraduate students nominated from schools across the globe. My name is Ruth Fumbrum, and we're here at the first ever Women in Theory Summer Workshop, hosted at Princeton University's Friends Center. The motivation for the workshop is first, to provide an invigorating educational program, and second, to unite female theory scholars of different origins, promoting a sense of kinship and camaraderie. The invited speakers consisted of Cynthia Dwork from Microsoft Research. So a linkage attack is an attack in which we take innocuous data in one set and we use it to identify an individual. And Truchi Chawla from the University of Wisconsin. The popular version of this game is known as the Battle of the Sexes, but in honor of all the women in theory, I decided to only have women in all of the examples in this talk. Among several others, with topics ranging from algorithmic mechanical design to instruction on how to give a successful presentation. With the makeup of the workshop participants and speakers consisting solely of women in technical fields, it was the perfect opportunity to gain some insight on the current state of female representation in those scientific areas of academia and industry. Do you feel that women are, as a whole, are well represented in theory? Or no, not at all. I mean, I think top, I'll see 10% women at a conference. In my department, it's actually a lot lower than that. It's to a large extent, that sort of people don't take seriously the extent to which having a mentor of who's like also female or also male or male makes a difference. Or and even like if you take into consider things other than gender, like if someone who's the same nationality as you, I presume it would make a similar difference. That to being able to have a connection with somebody on more than sort of a, this person is in my field level. Um, on the third day of the workshop, a panel discussion on what was termed the work life balance provided a stark contrast in the facts and figures of the technical discussions. The speakers displayed a different side of themselves, putting their emotional guards down to shed light on some sensitive topics revolving around the difficulties of being a woman in a male-dominated circle. Question number one, can you have it all? Okay. And another question is, what is work-life balance? And the third question is, why do women discuss this topic? Okay, three questions that I'm just throwing out and I would like you guys to start. Uh, my short take on this is that there is no work-life balance, there is only guilt. <laughs> and the biggest effort is to be present in the moment and to be able to cut off all the other things you need to do and all of your other obligations so that you're not thrashing. I have since the beginning, like since the beginning of my career, been terribly frustrated with the fact that women talk about this all the time. <laughs> so I really encourage you to forget it now. You are not obligated to be balanced. You're really not. Okay? You should be yourself. You should strive for what you want. That may involve some kind of very broad, broadly directed effort. It may involve being a total megalomaniac, you know, a totally focused, you know, self-absorbed, you know, driven, successful researcher. And that's good too. You, know, you are entitled to do that. You are not expected to be balanced. At least you're not expected by <laughs> Outside of the technical talks and panel discussions, the workshop's events also included a banquet and poster session. At the poster session, we had a chance to catch up with some of the presenters and discuss their research. believe that events such as these foster relationships and networks that generally wouldn't form otherwise. Numerous participants at this workshop even showed excitement at their first opportunity to join such a large quantity of female peers within the same industry or field. Once again, I'm Ruth Fumbrum. Thanks for watching.